I mean, initially we thought that biochemistry is biochemistry, cell biology. Now we need to talk to physicists, to computational biologists, to imaging people, to, you know, now things, the pendulum goes back and becomes very interdisciplinary. And we need to break traditional universities, departments and borders and start to work in what I call one big space again so we shall be able to benefit from one another. Otherwise, we'll find ourselves in a narrow corner, not being able to use the tools that science evolves for us. We need to break walls. I mean, we need to make one big space in which we can all work. Teaching, you know, it has also to do with teaching. I mean, we have to think of teaching also out of this box of biochemistry, cell biology, immunology, physiology. We may need to teach now in a more integrative manner, both medical students and science students. We are moving to a different era in science these days, no doubt. I think uh, uh, a successful scientist has to be creative, has to show imagination. Uh, but uh, this is something that you have or you don't. But uh, if you have it, uh, then what you can control is uh, hard work. Uh, this is my recommendation. Science is a, is a big excitement, you know. So be adventurous, try new things. Don't, don't just do things in order to, to, to get a paper or something. You, you try, try real new things because that is, how, that is how you will get a lot of satisfaction and that is how you can contribute to science. So be daring, be daring, yeah. Try new things.